Here's the first preview. I am so nervous! But excited. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's do that. Everybody wants to Hey, Bravo.com. What's good? Why did I do that? Oh my god. I am such a freak. Hey, welcome to episode three of Killing Time backstage. Again, what am I doing? At American Psycho on Broadway. It's lit, not gonna lie. Previews are going so well. You have to get a ticket. You're gonna love it. People are loving it, we're loving it. It's really just like, it's awesome. I feel like when I don't wash my hair or wear makeup, if I just like put on fake glasses, it looks like I did that like on purpose. You know, like it, like it fixes it. Is it working? Do you think? Really cool episode I have planned. Um, it's a little all over the place. It was hard to capture that first preview energy because it was just like so much going on. But um, I was able to get some footage out in the house while we uh, make some cuts, some changes, and um, take a lot of notes and all that. I have some morning tea with Alice, which is some wonderful footage for you guys. I'm gonna answer some questions that I forgot to answer last week. Not forgot, but just, you know. It's a tough schedule, you guys, but I'm on it. And uh, most importantly, I visit a lot of the boys in their dressing rooms in this episode. And uh, I'm just saying, none of them are wearing shirts. So you're welcome. Keep watching, because um, it's a pretty good looking cast. Okay. Good morning. This is a great shot of you though. The window and everything. I'm in it too. What's the first word that comes to your mind when I say Adam Chandler rat? Teddy bear. <laughs> Teddy bear meets Bugs Bunny. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when I say Mrs. Bateman? I'm frightened. Natalie Goodman. Rebel without a cause. <laughs> Benjamin Walker. Tall, caramelly, and goofy. Uh, American Psycho. Bloodshed. Jen Damiano. Who? <laughs> the kids asked some questions and I made into like a few in my head. They asked what your first reaction was when you learned we'd be working together again. Mine was so obviously, excited. ew! <laughs> ew, 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 no. <laughs> so excited and happy about the Christmas. Yeah. Everybody keeps saying that their favorite part of the, the first weekend the previews was the audience's reaction. Is that how you feel? Yeah, the sold out, the sold out um, sandwich board on the sidewalk. Yeah. Do you think? There's nothing that's better than that because it doesn't matter how good your thing is. If people aren't there watching it, yeah. It's just the best feeling in the world, knowing that every seat is filled. Yeah. Adam wants to know what your favorite thing about him is. Something I love about you, too. Same kind of thing, but I guess that's okay. I'm including you. You're so quick to laugh, so is he. I love that. Yeah. It's our relationship it's like, great, too. You know, like you, not that you can't get serious and intense about things, but especially when you're together. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so much fun. You let your heart be light. Scale of one to ten, how interested are you guys in doing Gypsy <laughs> as Louise and Rose? Don't you think that would be amazing? <laughs> um, I'd say about a seven and a half or an eight. Definitely. I think even higher. Eight, eight nine. nine. Yeah, that would be cool. Oh yeah, they can see. Not. Not actually. <laughs> Don't act like that's weird. Everybody does it sometimes. See? He's laughing. Hey, hi. How's it going? Good. Uh, We're just making the best out of life. This one I think is yeah. This one is the Iron Goddess. Who had that? Iron Goddess is here. Thank you. I got your own bread just because I want to try it. Tea time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the cameo. People want to know. What's the best piece of advice you've received? Don't sweat the small stuff. And it's all small stuff. What is your favorite part of the process so far? My favorite part of the process of the rehearsal? Yeah. Or not a rehearsal, just a 
doing a show, do you like rehearsal better than performing, or are they just different? As we as we near our opening night. Oh, that's interesting. I used to feel trained by rehearsals. Yeah. Back in the day. But over the past few years, I've developed this taste for rehearsal, and now it's my favorite part. People used yeah. to always say that, and they do say it, and I didn't really understand it, but now I do. Any last words for the people of the world? <laughs> About American Psycho the Musical oh. on Broadway, the Schoenfeld Theater. It's sexy, stylish, and smart. And the music is my favorite. And also me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hi everyone. Hi you guys. Hi you guys. Oh, you guys, we're about to have a meeting with the cast, but we're like whispering over here when we're supposed to be listening to what everybody's saying. So see you later in a little bit. Bye. We're here in the house um, after our first weekend of previews, and we're making changes today. And every, I can't show you the stage, but everyone's getting ready. I'm Alice, one of the PAs. What's the plan? Sadly, we got lots of edits this morning. <laughs> So, every, it's a good thing, the show's going to get better, it's going to get tighter, and it's wonderful. It just means I've been spending four hours updating everybody's scripts. You need what it's I'm good. having. <laughs> Anything else you want to say about the American Psycho the Musical on Broadway at the Schoenfeld Theater? Jen has the voice of an angel, and every time I hear it, it kind of makes my soul cry a little bit. Oh my God. Um, which is really hard, because my heart is made out of ice. But, you know, she... She's got the voice of an angel, people. You should come see her. And Thank then once you. she's done, you can leave. You can leave. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You're on camera. You're on Say camera. hi to Broadway.com. Hi, Broadway.com. <laughs> you're going to be going, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was you. Yeah, that's a great warm up. It's our warm up. That's how Patrick Baker gets right. Do you see uh, Jordan's streaky back? <laughs> Let's see it. What is it? Oh Quick, yes. Flex your ass. People love to. A lot of fake Your tanning ass. happening in the show. People. Thanks. You look great. Thanks. We're saying hi to two of our hey. fave cast members. Okay. Hey guys. Here it is. That's what it is. What's happening here? That's oh, true. This is Alex. And I'm Alex. <laughs> Man himself. Welcome Dressing to our roommates. Vision. How are you guys feeling? Roommates. About tonight. Yeah? We just got a little uh, pre-show workout in, a little ritual. Is that what the ritual? You guys do the same workout together? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> um, Usually right. he's not wearing that hat, but it's a new addition and we really think it pumped us up to the next level. <laughs> I love this hat. Yeah, I think it brought us into the whole American Psycho vibe. <laughs> totally. Do you guys have any like special things in your dressing room? That mean anything? Uh, this is our, our speaker, speaker system. Oh, it is a steam inhaler box <laughs> <laughs> that we put a, a, yes, a I phone hear. in. That's cute. It really does make the sound yeah, different. Yeah, it shoots it out. And uh, we've got roses from oh. your dad. Oh. Yep. We've got coffee Amazing. and tea. Yeah. Because you know, you have to make compromises in every relationship. <laughs> <laughs> put that in there. That's going in. So, um, what was your guys' favorite part of the? of the last weekend? Uh, oh my gosh. Every part. Right? Uh, every part, yeah, of course. Um, I don't know, I think we all kind of like pulled together and, you know, chugged through for our two show day, first two show day of this, sh of this mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. experience. What are you doing there? I just I just need to get body shots. I'm, I think that's I'm, what the people want to see. I'm Mike Look Belding. at these bods, you guys. I, this is crazy. a joke. Everyone in the cast is so offensively ugly, like I don't even know what to <laughs> do about it. Can we get a two shot? You guys just standing together. Look at that. Look at these fools. Yeah, just be real about it. Give us like a your your most like badass like pose. Um, okay. Just like to leave the people with. Do you guys have a sign off phrase? You gotta come up with something. Um, I don't think that we do. A and yeah. A and D. <laughs> Push ups! <laughs> oh my god. You push heard it, it here first, back. people. Push it up. Or push don't push it at all. Push it up or push it back. And uh, push, it, push it back. What we'll show are we in? It. What show are we in again? American Psycho. And Color purple. Oh, I mean American Psycho. Oh, where are we at? The Schoenfeld. That's right. 
see you guys there. Come, come, oh, one wow. and all to yeah, see all of this. Show and tell at the show and tell. And we're out. Say hi to Broadway.com. Broadway.com. I'm just yes. adjusting my hair and getting my microphone. Oh my um, god. Hey, Broadway.com. Hey, Keith. Hi. What up? Hey, I'm in the boys' oh, dressing. I went down and saw Drew and Alex, and now I'm just like, I might as well just get the rest of the meat. What's your favorite part of that first week of previews, do you think? Mmm, all the standing ovations we oh, got. Oh yeah, Probably. standing ovations. Yeah. Or night. Just having butts in the seats, man. Butts Just having, in the seats. And responsive butts in the seats. So that's okay. really what goes down in American Psycho, is all the stretching and push-ups. And <laughs> Can you get a shot of all the equipment on, on hey, the shelves? Wait, where shelves? is it? Sponsored we got by foam rollers. Sponsored by foam yeah. rollers. We got hair pants. Sponsored by the perfect push-up. Yes. The perfect push-up. We, we got protein. Fitness got protein first. You will see none of this in my see. dressing room. With <laughs> the ab car. <laughs> you know what? what? I mean? You carved your you abs with that You want to talk about the ab thing? carver there, Dave? Oh this my is, god. This is a, a proud customer of the ab carver. Carving abs. Show it, show Yeah, it, show, show us what you do. Carving abs since 1980. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. This is abuse. This Body is it. Psycho. American Psycho. Body by Psycho. Do you have a, do you have a sign off phrase? Um, do I have a sign up phrase for doing ab workout? I don't know. For the, do you have anything to say to um, the people? Come see American Psycho. <laughs> it's really fun. What was your favorite part of the whole last week? The whole first week of previews. What was your oh, your actual with, favorite part? My actual favorite part was the audience response. The audience response. Yeah, that's yeah. what they said too. Is that right? That's true. I think that's true. You're in it. You're still in it. There's no, there's no escaping the vlog. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I think the audience response. I think was the best part. Great. Yeah. And now we'll just get a full body shot. Perfect, great. Really unnecessary. All right, I'm leaving all the boys alone now. This has gone too far. Hi everyone. I'm not being used in um, in the rehearsal they're doing right now on a specific number. So I thought I would sit down and answer some questions because I love you guys so much and I I love that you have things you want to ask me. I remember we left off with Gideon being ridiculous at me on Twitter. I love you so much, Gideon. Mike Daniel says, what is the most stressful moment of American Psycho for you? How do you focus yourself and plow through the stress to perform? That's a really good question, Mike. It's a very stressful thing, doing a show. <laughs> it's very stressful, um, especially for someone like me. You know, I'm like anxious and neurotic, but I've learned how to control it and that's the most important thing. I think it's important to keep your life outside of the theater very calm. It's important to do things that ground you on your time off, like be with your family and and treat yourself and just take care of yourself. I think taking care of yourself when you're not here is the most important way to be as stress-free as you can be when you are here. Alice Ashwell says, how does it feel bringing such a beloved film to the stage as a musical? Do you think fans of the film will like it? Of course, absolutely. I think the show does a really spectacular job at um, maintaining exactly the thing that people from the film probably want to see. Um, there's a lot of those satisfying moments where you're like, I hope they do that part, are they gonna do that? And then they do. I won't tell you which ones though. Brady Corns, what is your spirit animal and why? Sometimes my spirit animal is like a deer and then sometimes it's a dragon. And I feel like you know why. <laughs> Maximilian Crumb, hey Max, do you like singing? Max, I love singing. Thank you so much for asking. I love singing so much. I could sing all day. I do sing all day. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, what was your audition process like? Hi guys, I'm back. I'm so sorry. Um, I was used. I was used in rehearsal. How dare they, honestly. But I was on a question that said, what was your audition process like? And that was from Tiffany. And I was so excited about this question because <laughs> my audition process for the show was so funny. It was a really long process and it was great. And it was a great vibe. Um, I sang Boys Don't Cry by The Cure for my audition because I thought that was a cooler 80s song than one of the more typical ones, I guess. But for this audition, I went on my first ever movement call. <laughs> I feel like even I would pay like $1 million to like watch the tape of that. It was the funniest experience of my life. I just went for it, but I have never done anything Thanks, like that Elena. before because I'm not really a dancer. Let's just say I can't wait for my next movement call. Emily Durham asks, which character involved a more challenging character developing process for you, Natalie or Jean? Really good question. There's such different processes actually. Natalie I kind of grew up with. It was so close to me that it was hard to even realize um, how much I kind of just 
basically grew into the character or the character grew into me or whatever. But Jean is a little bit older and um, much like me, she's just kind of coming into her own and learning new things about life and herself and love if that's what you want to call it. I usually just try to relax and, and let the character kind of just come to me and see what happens. I don't I don't push for anything more than that, and I think that's important. Ali Renee, what is your advice for a singer who's never taken acting lessons that wants to be on Broadway one day? Um, you should take some acting lessons, for sure. Yeah, you should take some lessons and then you can feel more comfortable on auditions and stuff and feel like you can do both. Bella May Rainey asks, what was it like being in a show about crazy people and trying to stay sane? in real life, hashtag N2M. <laughs> I mean, it's not really that difficult to do a show about crazy people. Um, I mean, we're all crazy yeah. in this business, but you know, I get what you're asking. It is difficult sometimes to separate the character from yourself when you really dive in, but it's a really important, healthy thing to do. And like I said, when I answered a question before, I think keep your personal life outside the theater very steady and grounded so that you're you know, Everybody you don't get carried away with your work. Aaron Fletcher, what's your favorite song from this show? Cards is definitely my favorite song from the show. I just love it. Wish I was in it, but I'm not a boy. Mariah Ditcher asks, what are your pre-show warm-ups? I warm up my voice and I do some breathing exercises. And mostly I just like to hang around with the right people before the show that make me laugh so I can just relax and not think about things too hard. Right before the show, I think that's more important than just like sitting there and trying to get in character in a really serious way. I think it's important to just like get yourself as relaxed as possible personally and the character will then be able to do whatever you need her to do. Heather is asking for an eyebrow tutorial. I don't know what I'm working with today. Perhaps at a later date. I don't know if anyone else wants to see that, but I got you. Because makeup is so fun. Vivian, what's it like to be my fave? It feels amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Jack, how do you survive Alice Ripley's icy blue stare? Barely. Straight to my soul. Jackie Turner says, what is your process when approaching a role? Does it change depending on the show? P.S. You're my queen. Hey girl, you're my queen. It does change. Like I said before, my process is just kind of letting it happen to me and not pushing anything. Unless, of course, that is something the character would do. But normally I play characters that are a little more on the back foot. Um, in life and so it's not about like you know getting in people's faces or anything or making a huge crazy choice it's just about how can I play this as truthfully as possible which is common with contemporary characters that I usually play. Always different and I'm sure I will encounter many other different types of processes. Manuela Correa? Correa? How excited are you to work with Alice Ripley again after a next to normal kiss from Argentina? Hi Argentina! I love you and miss you, Buenos Aires, so much. We are so excited to work together again. Alice is amazing, she's like my family. She is just such a safe space for me. Sophia Rose says, how did it feel to be involved in a show that got a lot of negativity like Spider-Man and also one that got a lot of positivity like Next to Normal? It's a really good question. It's really difficult when when press kind of gets in the way of the process. Um, Spider-Man was difficult in that way. But at the end of the day, we're all there to work and Next to Normal was the same thing, except a little more um, intimate. Um, just two very different shows that attracted very different audiences and vibes. It was a shift, it was a big shift to go from something like Next to Normal to Spider-Man, but um, I loved the challenge and I loved the change and it was very, very exciting. Someone says, will they ever cast you in a happy musical? I think they should cast me in a happy musical because I am a happy person, I swear. Do you believe me? Do you see this? This is happiness, okay? Well, I think those are all the questions. If I if I did not, for some reason, see it, which I, I'm pretty sure I saw them all, just tweet it to me and I will tweet you back with an answer because I hate to miss out on that. This has been so fun. Okay, but All right, you guys, that does it for episode three of Killing Time. Nailed it. Um, I hope you enjoyed everything. <laughs> uh, there's so much more to come. Please watch next week because we're going to the Colbert Show and Ben's gonna be speaking and there's gonna be um, a number of performing and I'm not in it, so I'm just gonna be living my vlog life backstage. Yeah, just gonna find a lot more people to talk to and a lot more cool, fun things to show you. I'm gonna get creative. I might even um, get Duncan to play some music for me um, while I sing. Maybe you guys would be interested in that. Maybe not. <laughs> um, but thanks for watching and see you next time because there's a lot more time to kill. <laughs> Thank you.